Okay, so today we're working on a uh, tile roof. These are flat tiles, uh, which just describes their shape. So you can see the surface of them uh, is flat and they lay on top of each other to make up the protection uh, for the underlayment. So right here we have our tile, but under the tile, the green thing that you're seeing is the actual waterproof um, membrane of the roof. Um, this is a 90 pound roll roofing. We call it the underlayment of the roof because uh, it's underneath the tile. Um, if the underlayment is damaged, it will show a crack similar to this right here. Um, that can come from many things. Uh, that can come from expansion and contraction of the roof components. Um, in this case, we have a lead boot right here. And you see that crack running vertically, uh, probably right along where that lead is nailed down to the roof. Okay, but then we also get cracking from moisture uh, sitting on the roof over long periods of time and breaking it down. Now, a lot of people ask, uh, you know, what type of roof do you prefer? And uh, usually they're talking about metal uh, versus shingles or tile or something like that. Um, but a lot of people don't ask what type of tile. Um, you know, tile kind of gets all lumped together in one type. Uh, here you can see a flat tile, but just off there in the distance you can see a tile with a much different type of a profile to it. Sorry about the shaky camera. Um, it's got a wave in it. It goes up and down, up and down. I prefer the tile with a wave in it, and I'll tell you why. Water, um, while the underlayment keeps water from getting into the house, if it's doing its job properly, uh, the tiles are not necessarily waterproof. There are areas where water can go back behind the tiles. These are not sealed together. Um, nor are they meant to be sealed together. So you get an area like this with a lead boot that's penetrating the tile, and even though it has mortar around it, and when all these tiles are back, you'll see that mortar is nice and smooth up against the tile profile. Um, that's not a waterproof uh, system there. The waterproof system is the underlayment. So water is allowed to get underneath the tile. Now, if you have a tile with a wavy profile in it, like the house I showed you over there, um, there are valleys that go down and touch the roof, but then there are also peaks where the tile is standing up away from the roof. Uh, when we have a flat profile tile, like the one that we're dealing with here, the flat edge of the tile lays into the roof. And I'm just kind of giving you an example right here. So we see this edge of the tile, and that is laying perfectly onto the roof. As you can probably imagine, if water were to get underneath this tile system, there's not a lot of places for it to go as far as flowing down off the roof. It gets stuck there and it just sits right along that edge. Um, it's not able to flow down and out. So what happens is it'll create cracks over time from moisture sitting on the underlayment. And this is where a lot of your leaks come from on a flat tile roof. So if you look down here, we have our tile. It's running up underneath this tile here and it stops right about there. You can see where I've removed the tile and you see that white line? That white line is where the water is sitting all the time. And if I zoom way up, you can see cracking in the underlayment. Even to the point of, I can see it. It might, might be difficult to pick it up on the camera, but if you look right in that crack, right here, I can actually see a little bit of plywood. That is the plywood decking uh, of the roof, the sheathing of the roof. That's an exposed piece of plywood just open to water touching it when it comes down here, okay? So long story short, uh, when we do these repairs, we of course have to remove the tiles in the leak area. Um, we are going to tar and seal the cracks. You can see here where I haven't even taken these tiles out and brush this away. See all that cracking right there? That's from the water sitting there. Um, but also what we do is we break the top left corner of the tile where it is hidden so you have a tile that comes along here and we'll cover that up so you can't see the break. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow water to come over the top if any water does get underneath the tile system and it gives it a place to flow down. So we're letting the water flow down and out away from the roof uh, or away from the underlayment. We wanna keep this water moving and shed the water off the roof. Um, so hope that answers a couple of questions for y'all that wonder about different types of tile. Uh, flat tile, uh, aesthetically, it looks great. Um, it's a nice, clean-looking type of a roof. 
Um, but you just have to understand the downsides, the negatives that come with having this type of a profile without a peak in a valley. Uh, when it's flat, it's just gonna hold any water that gets underneath. And that underlayment underneath, if it's an, a regular 90 pound underlayment, it can crack. Now there are new underlayment systems available, peel and stick rubberized systems that are resistant to this type of cracking, but still uh, flat tile, uh, people with flat tile roofs, just be aware um, that you, know, you may run into these types of leaks in the future. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, this is Cody with Fixed Roofing and hope you have a good day.